quite a beautiful kit, a uh, advanced kit for advanced builders. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm going to be looking at this mini art kit. I thought I'd bring uh, this one uh, to the open box uh, table because this is uh, non-military and quite often mini art do make a lot of military accessories and fits in really nicely. So this is actually a, they call it the um, a German um, car, the 170V. It's actually a Mercedes-Benz. You'll see the, uh, where is it, right here. You've got the emblems here, a pretty standard front end. Whole shape of this Mercedes-Benz. On the side, you can see some of the options there. It's a cabriolet, and you can build it as an open roof or as a hardtop. And this just gives you some ideas of um, the different colors that are available. You really, you can make any color you like of this particular car. So it gives a very uh, nice uh, period uh, diorama. Oh, well, sort of diorama. It doesn't have the base, but it has the figures involved there. So there's a gentleman there opening the door for his lady, which is quite nice. So you can even do this as a war type diorama. You may have some um, armored vehicles. It is in 35th scale, which is in the perfect uh, scale for doing military dioramas, or you can have it by itself. I have seen quite a few of these civilian type dioramas, which look very, very nice. Okay, let's have a look at the front of the box. So very nice box art there. Gives a really nice impression of a kind of uh, uh, diorama or vignette you can make. So you get the car as a kit and the figurines here as well. It's all really nice. Okay, let's open it up and we'll see what we have. Okay, so it's one of the standard sort of size boxes. It's quite thick. It's a couple of inches tall of the box. And as per regular mini art, they are chock full of parts. So mini art is not for the faint hearted. They do maximize the number of parts just to get all the detail in there. So the wheels and tires are all multi um, uh, step the sandwich together to get all your tread patterns which is very clever in getting detail but it does take a very long time and a lot of care to get that to look the best okay let's move this aside and we'll have a look at each of the sprues okay so as you get them they are boxed up um, with a, a bag with all the parts now this has this particular box here and this is mainly for protection because we get the uh, let's carefully open this up we do get the main bodywork of the car here. All one piece mold, and you can understand why it's in a box for protection. You can just see how thin all these um, pillars are. And you'll notice that it's fully opened up there because all the doors can be set open or you can set them closed. Now these sections across here, let's see if I can just uh, zoom in get a better idea of what's going on you see all the details here so I can get that let's focus there okay so you get indentation there on the uh, the boot that's for the spare tire you can see how all the uh, the wheel guards are already molded in place all really nicely thin molds okay so there's not a lot of material there it makes it look more scale as well Got the very thin pillar here. Go towards the front end. Nicely shaped windscreen. Same on the other side. And then, yep. So from the top, you can see these. These are reinforcing parts from the mold. They just need to be trimmed off. And then you can have that either opened up as the cabriolet or we can have the hard top on there. So, very nice. All right, so let's pop that aside there. All right, let's look at the next piece. Let's pull all these out, actually. Let's see how these are all held together in this bag. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is a section of clear parts. You get your windscreens and your um, uh, the rear windscreen as well. Side windows. You have a selection of decals here. Let's zoom that in. It'll be easier for you to see. All the decals with the different uh, registration numbers. Gives you a bit of a choice. You can see on this side as well. You can see on oh, my finger on the other side, just how clear these clear components are. And they're quite thin. I mean, they're, they're about a millimeter thick. So there is a little bit of the edge. So one thing about clear is um, you'll see that this particular edge will be visible. That's just um, part of the uh, 
the refraction of the light going through it. You can minimize that though, so you can either paint that black, just the edge black, and I'll take, take that off. Or you can just make sure that your adhesive joins onto it perfectly so you don't get that uh, refraction. So it's so either using very thin uh, white glue, like a crystal clear, and you can add that to the edges. And the more you've got um, cement holding that onto the frames, the less you'll see that whitening refraction coming through. Okay, so they're all very nice. Okay, very clear parts. You've got some lenses there as well. There's the headlights there. Headlight lenses. Okay, so they're clear parts. And then over here, we have a packet of photo wedge. Now, many are pretty much give you photo wedge on every kit that I can remember. And you'll see here that these are all super fine parts. You've got the center of the steering wheel there. You've got the grill. Now, from memory, you've got uh, either choices of a molded grill or you can use this one instead. So this one's actually, you can see it's actually meshed. You can see my finger through it. This will look nicer, but it is fairly two-dimensional because it's flat. You'll find that the molded one has actually got uh, more pronounced ribs. But then it depends what you like. So this, there's a chance of seeing the engine detail in behind here. So you'll see the radiator, but you will need to bend that. So it's all up to you. You have all these other components. I'll be used around the uh, the engine and also around the uh, the chassis. So actually, on this side, is the right way up. So actually, there's a Mercedes Benz emblem just there. Okay, and that's just glued onto the radiator cap. Always a nice touch photo wedge. Gives that little bit of uh, extra zing to a kit. All right, let's put that back in as protective. Um, envelope put that aside okay and then we start moving on to the plastic components let's zoom that out all right so we've got this one and there's an identical one there and then you've got this one here okay so this is where i was explaining earlier where there's a lot of parts uh, just to add detail and this is where the wheels have all been sliced there's actually tires there the wheels are separate right there They've been sliced simply so that when you sandwich them together, you see that they've got the locating dots there. You get the uh, the full tread pattern from the sides. And that's something that um, is quite clever and uh, it's done by quite a few companies now, but it can be tedious, okay? So you just need to be very careful when you're gluing these components together. So you can imagine there's four slices per tire and you've got the extra one here because that'll be for the spare. Okay, so you've got the wheels. So they're all basically the same thing here. And then on this side, you've got the seats and some of the interior components. So if I zoom that in, let's get a closer look here. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, so you can see these are the, that's probably parts of the, uh, the, the brakes and the hubs. Okay, you've got the slices of the wheel, so you've got the outers, and you've got two inners here. And the main difference is just the, uh, the detail, which is around the edges here. That's the wheel hub itself. Okay, so you've got five of those for the four tires which are mounted and then the spare. And then on this side, you've got uh, the seats. Some very small uh, uh, windshield wipers. Got the headlight. Okay, so we spin around this way. So that's a reflector inside there. And this is where the uh, the chromes work very well. So something like multi-chrome or any of the other type chromes, paint inside, give you a very nice reflective surface. Very crisp. Okay, so there's two of these included. So that does the, uh, the driver's seat and also the, uh, the passenger seat. Okay, from there we move on to, let's just zoom that out. Got this quite large sprue. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the main chassis. So we've got our bodywork there. Let's see how this just sits over the top. Can't actually get it to fit properly because we've got these gates in the way. But you just see how it goes together already. 
A lot of fine detail underneath the chassis as well. It's a really nice look. Okay, let's have a closer look in with the zoom and we'll pinpoint some of these finer details. Okay, so you can see the chassis there, you got the, uh, the main uh, wheel arches, nice and swooping. Look at the engine bay here. Okay, so the engine bay is all opened up because it's full engine detail. Got the interior, so you've got your, um, your driver's seat and then your passenger seat here, and then you've got your passenger compartment. This is your upholstery for the rear seats. There's a parcel shelf right there. You've got the steering wheel and then the photo wedge part which would fit on the inside. Parts of the dash. You've got exhaust components, so this would be part of the exhaust, I think. And then, what do we got there? That's, that's probably part of the firewall for the front here. That'll be around there. Got the dashboard. All these little components here. You've got suspension, got leaf springs. That'll be, it looks like part of the uh, transmission tunnel. You've got the two halves of the bonnets here, and then you've got the bonnet sides. So you can have this displayed open up so you can see the full engine detail. In a way, I, I feel that it calls for that because otherwise uh, you waste uh, all that beautiful detail for the engine. You've got the drive shafts. Uh, that looks like parts of the diff. You can see how fine some of these small bits are. That's what makes these mini art kits so nice. There's your radiator. And here's the, uh, the front of the radiator cover. So this empty section here, this is where the, uh, the photo wedge grill would go over. Get your bumpers, super fine. And then we've got the actual, well, I guess that's the, uh, what do you call that? The chassis. <clears throat> that's the actual framework that goes underneath the, uh, the floor pan. And there we go again, that's the, uh, the bonnet halves. And you can see here, that's the, uh, the piano hinge. How nicely that is done. So that when you press those together, it's going to look like it's actually hinged together. Okay, so that's the uh, bigger sprue. And then we've got this part here. So this is a small section with the roof. So you either have the hard top, and so there's the rear uh, window. So we saw that on the clear part, so you can fit that in there if you're doing the hard top. Or you can have a folded down cabriolet. Got some nice folds in there for the fabric. So nice to have those options. And we have this small part here. Now I'm guessing this is, uh, this looks like luggage. Yes, it would be luggage, so that's a suitcase. We've got the handles for the suitcases right there. That's probably some sort of big trunk, which you can have mounted at the back. And this, I think, is uh, a hat case, which you see on the front um, box art that the gentleman is holding. Okay, so very nice. Good to have some accessories. All right, and then we have, let's just zoom that out again. Got this large sprue. This has got uh, the doors. The inner panels there for the doors as well. And then you have, this is all engine detail. It's quite amazing. Okay, so let's zoom it in. And have a closer look. Okay, so you've got a transmission case there. Got the engine block. A little bit of sump down there, I think. Belts and pulleys. This would be some sort of plumbing, so it's uh, intakes um, and carburetor. And you can see just how tiny these bits are. I've mentioned it before, but these sort of small parts this is where a very sharp side cutter or nipper is going to be very handy. Because what you find is the, uh, the, the cheaper side cutters don't cut cleanly and you quite often find these flying uh, as you're cutting them. I mean, if you do 
uh, have some of those cheaper ones and you don't have the, uh, the budget for really expensive sharp side cutters, my recommendation is when you're cutting these really tiny bits like these, you actually have it in a large bag so that when you clip it, if they fly, they'll bounce off um, the top of the bag and then remain in the bag for you to retrieve. Okay, some small parts here. Now you will see that some of these super fine parts, you see that when they're packed together, this one has actually broken. So the best way of fixing that is you actually glue that back in place while it's still on the sprue, let it set properly and then cut it out. And then when you've done that, you can see there's, there's two here that are broken as well. I mean, that's to be expected, I guess. That's one of those um, things that can happen with such fine parts, but they're very easy to fix. You just bend these back into place. Like so. And that, once you glue that, you won't notice any difference. Okay, so we keep going. This is a really nice touch. Mini Art have been able to mold springs, and quite often when you get these springs off, they will work. Even though it's not actually working suspension, it does add that extra um, element. And then when you, if you get a military version, uh, it's quite common to get these uh, full interior kits and have them um, damaged or destroyed. And you can have these sort of springs quite visible if you have one side of the, uh, the car destroyed. Okay, so you've got uh, this sort of thing here that looks like a tank. And then we'll have a closer look at these. These doors are quite amazing. Okay, so you've got the hinges. Very fine and sharp. You've got uh, the parcel, I guess, what do you call these? Magazine holders, I guess, in these old cars. There's the, uh, the rear liners for the doors. And there you go there. Okay, so that's all of the larger sprue components. Now, what we've got left are the figures. And these are some of the things that really add to these kits, I think. So you've got the gentleman right here, and then you have the female figure right there. So let's have a closer look. Okay, so you can see here, this is the male figure. It does have a little bit of flash around uh, the join line. But it's quite easily scraped back. You can see how nicely sculpted these are. You can see the, uh, the folds in the fabric and the pants. Then we'll turn this around also at the torso. So he's wearing his jacket. On the other side as well. Okay, so he's got his, uh, his arms there, gesturing. He's holding onto that, uh, that hat box. So the faces are really quite nice for injected more plastic. Okay, so that's a gentleman, and then let's have a closer look at the lady. Okay, so you can see that's the torso. There's her arm holding the jacket. So that's the jacket actually draped over her arm. It's got a very natural drape too, it looks nice. I mean, it's things like that that just add character to these particular figures. Got the legs there, there's the other arm. There's her hat, and then there's her face. So if I have a closer look at her face. See how natural that face looks too. It's nicely sculpted. Okay, so you've got the dress here. It's in two parts. Okay, so that's all of the plastic parts. So it doesn't disappoint, as I showed you earlier. It does have a lot of components. And it's not the, the biggest model when it's finished, but it is packed full of detail. Okay, so here's the instructions. Let me just zoom that out a little bit. Okay, let's make sure I've got that focused. There we go. Okay, so front cover. Got a little bit of artwork there, just to give you an idea of a two-tone finish. So you got some more examples here of different colors. Your two-tone different markings, different options. So you get your cabriolet look, get your hard top look here as well. Okay, and then we start looking at all the parts. All right, so we get your legend here. This shows you all your different sprues and what they're called. And there's small numbers just so you can find where all the little bits and pieces are. 
little legend here too for all these symbols. Get your photo etch mark down the bottom as well. Clear parts, your decal sheet, and then there's the figures there. Okay, so we start the construction. Okay, so start with the engine. You've got the engine block going together. Transmission. That's all put together here. Almost feels like you're building the actual engine here. You've got the fan. There's uh, that's probably the diff. We've got the framework, which we saw earlier. Some really fine components. These are springs for the rear suspension. They look really nice. You've got your rear diff going in. This is uh, the full construction of the drive shaft and rear suspension. You've got struts in place. Tail shaft with the engine. You've got the front end going in with the leaf springs. Steering rods, front uprights. Over here we start doing the, uh, that looks like the exhaust system. You've got the muffler. And that's that long exhaust from the engine going to the back. So exhaust is put into place. You got the bumpers, so you got your front bumper. And then you get that mounted onto the floor pan. We've got uh, some of the interior going together here. Okay, so that's the, uh, the firewall. You've got a few tools which are uh, strapped onto the firewall. You got your fuel tank, and then that's fitted into the floor pan. Start doing the interior, you got the seats getting put together. Dashboard. And then we start doing the bodywork. So that's a one piece that was in the, uh, the box. Start putting in the glass. Got the uh, rear vision mirror there. That's all photo etch. You got the rear bumper going onto the bodywork. Wheels going on. So this is where you can see the sandwich going together and all that detail. Wheels are put into place. Start putting together the, uh, the grill. So initially I thought the grill may be available as two options. Um, it is two options in another kit that I'm building, but on this particular one, you've got the, uh, the photo etch grill that's put into place. There's a spare getting put together. And this is mainly where it starts getting uh, put into place. You've got the bodywork going onto the main chassis, steering wheel, you've got the struts going in place over the engine. Here's the, uh, the bonnet covers, both sides. You can either have it folded up as in opened, or you can close it all up. Doors, uh, so you get clear parts with uh, the, the inner linings. And you can mount those either open or closed. Over here we've got uh, some... Oh, there you go. That's the uh, optional trunk box with uh, support. Or you can leave that off. It's actually off on the, uh, the box art. You've got your headlights. And then this is the basic construction of the figurines. You've got a paint guide here with various different brands. So you've got the Vallejo, Mr. Color, Life Color, Tamiya, AK, Mission Models, Hataga, Ammo, uh, and then the basic color name too. So if none of these sort of codes work for you, it's easy enough to find what color uh, to do yourself. And there's some more examples of how to paint up the particular car. So there you go. So thank you for uh, watching me do the unboxing of this particular mini art kit. So this is a 35th scale. German car 170V. So this is a Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet, and this is in civilian trim. There are military ones as well, but I thought this was really nice. Has a nice figure set to go with it as well. So quite, quite a beautiful kit. A uh, advanced kit for advanced builders. So thank you for watching.